this at 530. Well, good evening, everyone. Your drive through the Cataract City could soon be a lot smoother. The mayor of Niagara Falls announcing road paving projects throughout the city today, but a debate in Washington could prevent a number of large scale projects from ever getting done. Seven Eyewitness News reporter Jason Grenauer has the details tonight. That funnel is running dry. You know, there's just no more funds coming in the top end of the funnel to come out the bottom end of the funnel to us. And that's why if Congress doesn't act by the end of this week on a bill to federally fund road projects, millions of dollars that would have come to fix main routes in Niagara Falls may not be coming at all. It's heartbreaking for me to see the billions of dollars that are being invested by other industrial countries in maintaining road and bridge infrastructure, while our Congress, for whatever reason, is content to see our American infrastructure crumble. Mayor Deister says they should still be getting federal money for two main projects, Buffalo Avenue and Lockport Street, but beyond that, it's a question mark. Difficult to convince an investor to invest in your town if while you're driving them around showing them properties, his false teeth are, you know, bouncing out of his head because he's going through so many potholes. And the same is true in Erie County, where more than $15 million of federal money has been budgeted from 2014 to 2018, including the Cars on Main Street project in Buffalo. It may have to be halted and unforeseen projects that could be put on hold, like this crumbling section of Tonawanda Creek Road. This project alone is going to cost about $3 million to do a few hundred yards. And that's why this cannot be done on its own. The Federal Highway Trust Fund runs out of money. It is bare on July 31st. If we don't get this doing now and we delay three months, we may miss a whole season of building. But that is only one of the road concerns in the city of Niagara Falls. Remember over the winter when frozen pipes left dozens without water for weeks? Weather-wise, now would be the time to fix that. Coming up all new at 6, an update on progress. Jason Grenauer, 7 Eyewitness News.